What's going on, you hunters? You ever want to be a little trickster and disappear? Maybe act like you're one of those ghoulish little, well, messengers that pop up out of the ground. Then you'd need this item, the messenger's gift. It's a strange gift from the messengers, inhabitants of the dream who revere the brave hunters, used to envelop oneself in a black nightmarish mist, then transform into a messenger. The illusion is just a parlor trick, and any large movement will break the spell. To proceed to preserve the guys, proceed slowly. No rolling, no running, no attacking, no dodging, no shooting, nothing. And it's really not a huge useful item, even in PvP, because there's so many things about this item that are different from the regular messengers. If you're beside messengers, you can be very quickly identified as not a messenger. You don't render down into a little bubbling pool when you're too far away from the either the enemy player or just their line of sight and you don't interact with the environment like a regular messenger does so it's a usage uh there's an enveloping black mist that changes the user into a messenger uh the enduring effect breaks of one of aids attacks or or is attacked it has a 10 arcane requirement there's no scaling with this item, it does no damage, it's a parlor trick, and you might be able to use it to hide from PvP or maybe a few random enemies. Uses one quick silver bullet. Hmm. Um, and if you're really good and you know the terrain very well, you can technically use it to evade uh, PvP invaders. But aside from that, in the actual game, blue, the blue elixir is just better. Because it kind of acts like the chameleon spell uh, with Dark Souls. But nah, it's not really worth it. So it's not as good as chameleon. Let's hop over into the game. I'll show you it in game and then we'll show you where and how to get this item. It's actually a pretty easy one. You just got to run to it and avoid a thing. It's called a brain trust, the one that frenzies you. So, we're going to go ahead and hop over here. Let's see here. This is the messenger's gift. As you can see, it is a 10 arcane requirement, no arcane scaling, unlimited use. It only uses one quick serve blade each time. This is what it looks like as an item description inside the game. Um, this is what it does. So you see how this, see how those messengers there render down to the bubbling liquid, and they pop up when you get close to them. Well, if you use the messenger's gift, this is what you turn into. But you don't render away. So if an invading hunter walks this way and still sees you like this, you're spotted. You're done. And I can only walk. It's like if I try and run, it breaks it. If I try and evade, it breaks it. If I try to attack, it breaks it. Now, don't get me wrong, say if you're hiding around this corner, an invader comes, you can attack them real quick. Or you can even charge an R2 kind of quickly with it. But the one that I always uh, feel like it'd be most useful for is just pop out and shoot. Yes, I know, I just shot the bell on the face. But we're going to pop to the Nightmare Frontier and show you where to get this item. Again, it's a relatively easy one to get to. It is required for the uh, Hunter's Tool trophy in Bloodborne. Why this item exists, really, I don't know. From Software puts some weird stuff in their games. So here from Nightmare Frontier. We're going to go straight out of the starting cave. Turn left. Uh, we're going to backstab this silver beast here. Well, I just whipped it, but whatever. If you want to farm these guys, they do drop 
halfway decent blood gems for this portion of the game. They're not exquisite blood gems. And we're gonna come right here. And we're gonna take this silver beast out. Tempering blood gemstone, there you go. They're not gonna be perfect gemstones. But they are useful. So if you're just trying to wasn't trying to jump back there. There's a bolt blood gemstone. So if you're just trying to get a decent collection of gemstones, you can farm them. You can get one to three of run. So what we're gonna want to do is come here. There is the big squid monster. We actually want him to actually come over this way a little bit so that we can drop and try and do a plunge attack and kill him. He can be quite the nuisance. Especially if he locks you against that wall there. Now there are three scurrying monsters here and one large one if you've never came into this area before. Me, I just wasn't aware of them. They do drop a uh, bloodstone charge, and the bigger one will drop a twin bloodstone charge. So we want to go through here into this cave, and then get up behind this pillar here, because there's a brain trust right there. So once he gets there, we're going to just run out, dodge around him, get bold hunter's marks up. It is on this corpse here. As soon as you grab it, reawaken so that Frenzy does not set in. Because with the poison, you cannot be at 100% health. And if Frenzy sets in with poison, you're dead. That's it. But that is the very quick and simple guide to getting Messenger's Gift in Bloodborne. If you liked the video, guys, hit the like button down below. If you thought it was a waste of my time, Hit the dislike button, drop a comment down below on what items y'all want to see me show off. It can be any weapon in the game, any sidearm in the game, any tool in the game, or how to get any of the trophies in the game, such as uh, killing Marta Ligarius, the three secret endings, getting to the Thamerian Queen, actually working on that one now. And remember, if y'all want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when I've thrown up another video showing you where and how to do certain things to get more Platinums for more games. And until the next video, guys, this has been the Weird Messenger's Gift. Y'all have a good one.